morning, Nelly. How are you? How can you be so happy? I asked you and Chan to do one simple thing, and you make it worse. Well, maybe you need to work on Benny instead. I have to work on Geraldine. Bye bye. Geraldine! Hey, can you don't go and catch out her love life anymore? You are the Gachao King, and you dare tell me don't Gachao? Benny is nothing special. Benny is a good husband material. Geraldine should give him a chance. Ah, girl? Girl? How come you didn't tell me? Geraldine went to work already. If I tell you, you won't believe me. Forget about Benny. She's not interested in him. She's got good taste, okay? Eh? Hi, Benny. Uncle, I got a croissant powder. Okay. What happened to your face? What's wrong with it? You didn't sleep properly, is it? You got panda eyes. I slept very well last night. Well, then you better change your eye shadow. You look like you're hiding something. Looks like you have some deep, deep problems no one can solve. I happen to like this shade very much. Mm. Hey, then I'll give you some advice. FOC. This colour makes you look old and your eyes look swollen. You must well use a marker pen next time. Jordan! Put this on your eyes. Reduce the swelling. <sighs> Ooh, spin class was so energising. Did you enjoy it? It was awesome. Good. I was afraid it may be too uh, strenuous for you. It's a great way to start the day. Right? You know, once you push yourself to the limit, you know, you start breaking through those barrier after barrier. You know, I got such a rush from it. My head's still spinning. <laughs> <laughs> spinning. Uh, I see what you did there. It's better than caffeine, actually. I might have to skip my double shot latte after this. <laughs> Cool. So, um, I'll see you at spin class tomorrow? Absolutely. I'm glad you had a good time. Good time. Great time. Tomorrow can't come soon enough. Ah, ah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh... Huh? The decoration can, uh? No worries, Heng. The deco is fine. Uncle Heng, thanks so much for letting me use your place for my bachelor party. Hey, welcome. <laughs> hey, what time the caterer coming? Uh? Uh, should be any time now. Oh, mm. then the buffet uh. can put over there. Okay. And the karaoke machine over here. Yeah, I'm happy with whatever it works for you. Good. <laughs> Hi, Sayang. How are you feeling? Still have a migraine? Same as the last time you called me five minutes ago. Migraine's almost gone. Make sure to keep yourself hydrated, okay? Yes, I will. Don't want to miss out on all the fun at the hen party. No, I don't. Hey, so I... So, I heard Mandy's hiring some male strippers. Yeah, sure she is. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. Sayang, I... Uh, remember to drink lots of water, okay? Yes, Sayang. Bye. Spin class? What made you take a spin class? Oh, nothing. Just want to... Keep in shape. Is it fun? No, the instructor is pure evil. He tells everyone, oh, you gotta, you gotta feel the pain, you gotta love the pain. But he just wants to see me suffer. When the class is over, he tells everyone, hey, good job, you rock, keep it up. But me, he pats me in the back like a little boy and he says, uh, you still alive, ah? <laughs> Your instructor said that. I've got a good mind to report him to the gym manager. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your heart rate's fine. Okay. Thanks, Christine. Thanks. Hey, Harash. Your daughter, damn terror. I saw her flirting with Dr. Wu. You saw Priya flirting with Dr. Wu? Yeah, la. He's hot, la. But still, she just joined us and already so daring. This is her workplace, not a bar. What? Christine. Can check my heart rate again, please. 
Gee, that's a lot of kui. <laughs> this looks so good. Plenty for everyone. Eh, I'm going to collect the curry puff, samosas and chicken wings. Don't buy too much, please. There's only going to be the four of us. The more food, the merrier. <laughs> Did you just say there's only going to be four of us? And two of them happen to be me and my mother-in-law. When I say I can count the friends I have with one hand, I'm not kidding. It's so pathetic. Wow, thanks, OK. Since you're a pathetic friend, who am I to complain, right? This is what you get when you spend your whole life depending on yourself. Well, the way I see it, it's better to have a few good friends rather than lots of superficial ones. Thank you, Mandy. We are part of a very exclusive club. Very? <laughs> I really don't know what my ma sees in Benny. He is rude, he has no class, and he never says anything nice. And yet, she can still tell me he's good husband material. Maybe she sees something in him that you don't. Trust me, I have seen enough. Okay, so I'm curious. What's your idea of good husband material? Mm, my ideal guy? Mm. Handsome, of course. Mm. Of course. You have to wake up to the face every day. <laughs> okay, uh, he has to be chivalrous. I want him to open the door for me and pull out my chair for me. <laughs> mm, the kind of guy who puts you first, a gentleman. Oh, and he must be sensitive. He knows when to say the right things at the right time, and he knows when I'm feeling down and when to give me space. Why do you say that Benny has none of these traits? He doesn't even come close. But he tried to save you from a robbery. Isn't that chivalrous? He was frozen until I tackled Uncle Chan. Then he copied me. Hey, let me share something with you. I've had an ideal man list of my own. When I met Michael, I couldn't believe it. He ticked practically all the boxes. Wow. Well, yeah. But my biggest regret is marrying him. Going by my list, Alex would fail on all counts. But who cares? Hey, we better hurry. Boy, you take so long to bathe now, Russ. I'll be so sweaty. Sweaty? Hey, it's Benny. Time for operation. To bring oh. Benny to Jerry. Hey, we are late already. Hey, yeah. hey ha, ha, ha. it's the man who saved the girl from the robber. Wait, you're a robber? No. <coughs> no, not me. Not me. Hey, if you save the damsel in distress, then you must be interested in her. Who says? I'm not. Hey, don't be shy, Benny. Just wait. Ah, hey, anyway, we are in a hurry. Come, come with us. What? Where are you taking me? To have a chat. Yeah, at the party. Party? Who will be there? Us, man. Not enough. Ah. Hey, maybe after spending some time with us, you realize you want Geraldine. Uh. <laughs> come on, no, uh, wait, wait, wait. Leader, tell us. Leader, let me see. Come on. So sorry, yeah. Today, you're free man. Tomorrow, Changi prison. <laughs> <laughs> Does the bathroom have separate sinks? Separate sinks? That's where all the argument starts. By your own toothpaste. Hey, don't scare this guy, ah. <laughs> I think marriage is a union. Oh, it's about two people coming together as one. And my advice to you, don't have joint account. Huh? I do. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Who's next? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, no, no, no. It's a bachelor party. Oh, oh, <laughs> ah, Benny. Me, soon to be married. Afik Ibrahim. The Bambitan star. Congrats. Thanks. Uncle Hing. Mm. Wow. Hey, why did you invite him? Benny, why not? Hey, okay, he saved your daughter from a dangerous robber, no? Hero, okay. Heroes are hard to find. It wasn't a real robbery. Figure. Well, you were part of it. Uh, uh, then, what is he good for? <laughs> I just got you coffee. Thank you. You're yeah. looking fresh. How was your break? Oh my god, I do. Uh, uh, that was good. It was good. I had a, I had a good time. How much is the coffee? No, no worries. Oh, it's the coffee. It's the coffee nice. Oh, yeah. you, might, you might need tissue, actually. Me today. Yeah. This is from the new book. Like, yeah, I do, I do. It's me. Since you got me this from, I'll get you the next one. Harish! What are you doing? Dad! Priya? Why are you holding that bedpan? Funny story, actually. 
I ran into your father, literally, and made him bump into the trolley, and, uh, you know, the rest. Uh, you really need to know where you're walking, you know? Mm. Seems like I'm needed. Dad, put that bedpan down. You look ridiculous. It's actually a really funny story. Hmm. Can't wait to hear it. According to Pooch, Priya was flirting with one of the doctors. I was simply trying to verify if it was true or not. Hmm. By spying on your daughter. James Bond, I am not. <laughs> like, I wouldn't worry about what Pooch said. She has a tendency to exaggerate about things. I mean, everything. That's my daughter she's talking about. Priya is smart and funny and pretty. Guys hit on her all the time. Well, you can't keep an eye on her all the time. You have to let go a little. Not if I can help it, huh? Did you hear how Arasi was groomed by a university lecturer? I mean, that's a person she's meant to trust and, and look up to. Um, listen, Harish, Arasi's a different story. When her mother died, she forced herself to grow up fast. She took her responsibilities very seriously, took care of the house, of her little brother, and that's a lot to take on for a young girl. I mean, in a sense, she's a grown-up, but emotionally, she's still a little immature. Arcee was kind of the perfect victim for that lecturer. I didn't know you knew her so well. Hmm. Is it through Alex? So I should just let Priya live her own life, huh? Well, I think you're pretty hands-off already as it is. You have nothing to worry about. You mean that? I do. I mean, Priya's a lucky girl. The way you guys talk and bounce off each other, I love the honesty. It's nice. Oh, hey, well, I'm gonna miss my appointment. And, oh yeah, Pochu hates that you call her Pooch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I married Ibrahim, my mother told me, give way to the small things, but don't back down on the big things. So it's okay losing a few battles as long as you win the war? Betul. After you win the war, then you fight over the small things. Ah. <laughs> hey, 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 last time my parents always take my god side. He was their pet. I used to get so angry with them. Once I was late for school, I rushed out and kept the front door open. They scolded and scolded me. The next time when God went out, I kept the door open and told my parents about it. Oh my goodness! You're so wicked! I was so sure they would close one eye. But no, when he came back, they scolded him as bad as me. <laughs> okay. You know, you're his favourite, but fair is fair. Good advice. Mm -hmm. This is Carrie. I had lousy parents. At least you all had first-hand experience of good parenting. I probably will turn into a lousy mother. <laughs> that, that's Hafik again. Every country got only one king, correct? Eh? Married life also the same. Can have only one king. Mm, yeah, like the time when Nelly made you sleep on the sofa, huh? You were the king of the living room. Tan, <laughs> <laughs> the secret to a happy marriage is to let your wife think she's a boss. It's like a tug of war. You let go, you let go a bit, and then you let go some more, then you pull back. <laughs> But never ever cross the white line. Uh, 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 uh. And where was the white line when I saw you yesterday carrying Nuraini's handbag? Hello, there was only one time. Her hand was very tired that day. Macho man. Perfect. As the man who's onto his second marriage, I do believe that I'm more than qualified to talk about married life. Mm, now, Uncle Alex, I would take seriously. Mm. So, what advice do you have for me? Let me check with Christine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, bro, you must work, work hard. You and your wife must be like that. Hmm? Your hand and her hand must be tight, tight. Hmm? Don't let any problem go inside. Huh? Not easy, ah. Noted. Marriage is not a walk in the park. Yeah. Your wife want to walk in the park, you walk. She want to go shopping, go. She want to throw beer bottle at you, throw. And she want to drive her car, langa you, carry you on. But this one must be 
That's the way she is. So, what? Are you saying she doesn't need me? <laughs> it's wedding day nerves, huh? I'm saying go home and get some sleep. Mm. Confirm Rose is not interested in Harret. Hang on. <laughs> is Harret really that horrible? He's a good guy. Plus, he's available. He's a clown and a super skyver. He always arrows me to do his work. Plus, he's irritating. Even the most irritating person in the world cannot be more irritating than him. Hey, who are you guys talking about? That's a real pain in the butt. Mr. Ong, our patient, he's so irritating. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Ong. <laughs> Sorry, Chi, I know it's late, but can I speak to Hafik? Uh, Hafik already gone to bed, Katija. Oh, can you let him know that I came over? We had a thief earlier and I wanted to say sorry. <laughs> I will. Thank you, Chi. Hati hati. Okay. Why didn't you tell her? Hafid isn't back yet. On the eve of her wedding. So how? It's so late already. Hafiq, mana kau nak? Call me back, please. <sighs> no answer from him. I searched his room. His passport and travel bag are all gone. His passport is gone? Huh? What is he up to? The wedding is tomorrow. What are we going to do? Titanic got happy ending or not? You feel like king of the world. Forget it. Don't be her Leonardo. Rose oh, doesn't sound like the emo type of girl though. You forgot about that guy in a coma? Samuel. Yeah. All girls will run away from him. Rose will run to him. She likes two types. Coma guys and bad guys. Are you serious? Rose is attracted to bad guys? More exciting, ma. The more havoc, the better. 